What's up everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about a simple thing that adds distance to your discus, and we're gonna talk about this in an extension of the add 20 feet video that we did a few years ago. I'd encourage you to check that out. But one of the things we talk about in that video is turning the hand. Now, we always talk about turning the thumb so that you see this kind of line, and now you see that the thumb's here because you'll notice that it creates this nice little ledge for you to carry the discus. So we have multiple throwers here. Two of them have no problem with that, and one is learning that. He just added about 15 feet to his last throw, and he's bewildered as to how that could have possibly happened. So we are going to actually show you, again, our three demos. So we'll have Carson go. So Carson, show us how it works. Cam, get over here because you have a hard time with this. And then James, you again, our advanced thrower, you'll see that he has no problems with this. Okay, so here we go. Hold the disc. Well, we're just gonna have them hold it up and we're just gonna show this and then how this is basically gonna help the thrower, you the thrower or coach help your throwers. This is the first thing that needs to be learned as this is some athletes, this is uncomfortable. We had an athlete at one of our last camps, 11 years old, he was only throwing 30 feet. What was the issue? Not as necessarily his ability, but he couldn't hold the discus right. Big deal, that's not something that takes very long, but some athletes are gonna need a week or two weeks to get this down. Literally, it should take some throwers you know, one practice, this is what makes your naturals, the guys that pick this up quick. And this is something we talk about as pre-camp materials to all of our camps that we do in the summertime. And this is one of the first and foremost things that is so critical for athletes to learn. So go ahead again, Carson, we're gonna have you demo it up. So he's gonna hold the discus and you're gonna see, he's just gonna kind of comfortably hold it. So he can kind of feel the discus and now he's got that little ledge. Now he's gonna be able to maximize the radius and that's gonna help him create more sling and tension on the discus, which is exactly what we wanna do. Okay, so go ahead and just wind, do your thing. You'll have that and now just keep nice, easy throw and pull through, okay? So he pulled it and we're working on not dropping this shoulder. Check out our video on keeping the hips and shoulders level and turning through. So Cam, this is a perfect example. So Cam's actually been in our club for most of this, this season this year. He's done a really good job. He's added 30 feet to his discus. He's added almost 10 feet to his shot this year. So, but he's still not carrying the discus quite comfortably. So we just are doing it now. So Cam, let's show him how what you're learning okay all right so watch so as he holds the discus he's gonna bring the discus back okay and so you're gonna see yes oh this is so much better than it was literally 10 minutes ago okay so he was cupping and he when I told him to turn his thumb so you'll see here he was literally taking his thumb and doing this. And what we wanted him to do is tilt, so now the discus sits and he can feel that comfort of dragging the discus. So let's go ahead and take another throw. Let's do a full throw, no pressure. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so he's kind of feeling this comfort position on his full throw and how he's gonna hold that discus. He's gonna turn that thumb. And you can see he did not do it the way he did it before we put him on video. So you'll notice, we're gonna play that back and we'll put the video up. You'll notice as he's going, watch his hand turning over. This is because he's not carrying the discus right that enables him to stretch that radius. Now I'll have James demonstrate, and this is something that James does very well. And then we're gonna have James take a throw and we're gonna have you make sure you feel that good chest hold position in pillar four but we're gonna, this is something James automatically does. We don't have to teach it, so you'll see what it looks like. He's very comfortable, and you can see when you hold the hand like this, you're creating this nice ledge. The discus isn't gonna fall out. You see so many athletes, they feel like the discus is gonna fall because they're not hitting this position. Okay, so James, you're gonna go ahead, do a throw, hit a really big chest hold pillar four, and then watch the stretch and how the discus comes through. Okay. There we go. So very nice throw, okay? And again, James is coming back. We're about 10 weeks after he's resumed training from 10 months out due to an Achilles injury. So he's moving very well, really happy with the training. But this is one of the things an advanced thrower typically doesn't have to deal with. And you can see that's really allowing him to 
lengthen the radius and feel that nice stretch and pull and you just saw the difference and again here's our different levels of throwers and our young thrower with having the most issue one of the core simple things we could look at all the different things at the different pillars but what we always try to emphasize is you have to get that discus carry and that hold correct and then everything else becomes 10 times easier because when you're not carrying it you're inherently feeling the discus feeling like it's going to fall out this eliminates that problem okay guys so thanks so much for watching be sure to hit that like button subscribe hit your notification so you don't miss the next video and we will see you on the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as you can see there's a lot that goes into what we do with the throwing chain reaction system if you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential click the link below and we will see you on the next video